Hey guys, what's up? Sarah here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my very first video ever, um, and basically I'm going to be doing a review on the Adea courses with the Competition Ace Blades, and I ordered them around a month ago, a little bit more than a month ago. Um, I got them for my birthday, and me and my mom went down to a, a place where they had an Adea rep, and I got my feet sized, we got them ordered, and they came in yesterday, but I was at my normal rig yesterday, and I didn't have time to go down to another state to go, you know, do that because I had training. So basically, we're going down about 6.30 tonight to go get these skates. So I have rehearsal for a theater thing that I'm doing. Um, and then I'm driving down to go pick up my skates, get them um, ready, like get the blades put on and all that stuff. So I'm going to film this whole process. I'm super excited and I just thought what better way to start off this YouTube channel with a review on something I know people are going to want to watch because I know when I first was looking into getting new skates, I was like, okay, I need new skates really badly. So I was like, okay, what do I want to get? So I researched, researched, watched so many YouTube videos, hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos. That's an exaggeration, but I watched a ton of YouTube videos just really trying to figure out what worked best for me because I I didn't know what to get. So I know that this video will hopefully be super helpful to someone who was in my position and is looking for new skates. So I'll see you guys at the rink. Hey guys, what's up? Hair's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. We are at the rink and we're about to walk in. It is 6.30 and we're gonna get the skates. They are Jackson Mystique, which is like five levels yeah. below my level. And then we have the Ultima Mark II blades, which just came with the skate. Okay, so they are pretty like that. They're creasing a lot, but they were great skates at the beginning. But these are the before skates. Let's get those cleared quick. So what you do is you're gonna grab the, the outside here. See how this is the outside? Yeah. Then you have the inside. Okay. You're gonna pull this one down and then this one up. And then you're gonna switch to the other side. So same thing. Okay, go to the next one. Same way, outside, inside. Pull down, switch. Okay, next one. All right, let's have you try this one. Good, switch. Good, perfect, pull through. Yep, make sure you don't get the... Just pull that through. Okay. So, yep, you're fine. Let's not worry about that. Okay. Good. Other side. Good. Pull through. Can so I pull them here? Yep. You already did that one. And then cross. Yep. And then you're going to do the same thing. Pull down and switch. Good. Okay. okay. And then what we're going to do here is you're going to go up to this one right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pull. Pull. Make sure your hands are really close to here. Yep. Okay. Pull. Good. And then down and around. Down and around. Good. And then cross. Now you're going to go up to the top one. From under? Yep. And then pull real tight again. And then down and around. See how it gets that really nice and snug? Yeah. Okay. Good. And then just pull up towards you. Nope. Pull up towards you. Good. And then down and around. Good. And then go ahead and tie it. Hey guys, we're leaving and got the skates in the bag. So I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna do a review on the outside and then I'm gonna go skate in them for the first time on Saturday morning. So I'm gonna do a review on the difference between those and the Jacksons, pros and cons of that stuff. So yep, see you guys then. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and it is Saturday morning. We got these on Thursday, so I've had to wait a whole painful day to use them because um, I had some theater stuff going on Thursday I didn't have time to head down to my rink so Saturday morning we're gonna go down in about 30 minutes we're about to leave um but here they are oh my goodness guys these are so pretty <gasps> literally they're like okay I'm sorry but they're beautiful so we're gonna start off here it says chorus and it's got four little gemstones it also has a little gemstone right here they look exactly how the picture says if not prettier like this color is so pretty like yeah it says adea and now for the blade reveal oh. so um i think before actually it's a competition blade i don't really know a lot about blades guys anyway they have the little john wilson 
and it says um, made in Sheffield, England. Sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong. But um, here's the toe pick. Um, they're super pretty shiny. Just got them sharpened, obviously. Um, I only have them um, bolted in temporarily right here in case I like start landing doubles, <laughs> which I don't know if that's gonna happen soon. Like I just started working on an axle, so you know. Um, I'm probably not gonna get these permanently screwed in anytime soon, so we just have the single, the single screws, which is what the uh, rep dude said was good until I start doing triples and double axles. I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to be using these skates by the time I'm doing that. <laughs> like, these are really old, and they're, like, tiny. Like, I want the big, like, puffy ones, you know what I'm saying? So, um, to the technical part, this is the inside. They have this, I don't want to say memory foam, but it's super puffy, and it's got, like, little holes in it, so your foot doesn't get super sweaty on the inside. Um, it, the boot is cut a lot lower than like my old ones my old ones went higher up they're probably to like here so these cut down a lot lower they give you a lot more ankle support like ankle part so this is going to be a lot stiffer um another difference between them is that this does not fold in like right against your ankle sticks out here a little bit as you probably saw when the guy was showing me how to tie them they also tie a lot differently like you have to pull and then pull and pull and then pull and then you come up back and around and up back over and around like it's it's weird it's very different um we ordered on amazon a little hook um like for tying skates so you can make sure you really pull it super tight but they're looser in other parts so it's super important to make sure that they're extremely tight because you don't want to be skating in your boots too loose so that's that pretty much um so we're gonna head down to the rink um I mean, I don't really think there's anything else to really say. They're super pretty, and I'm super excited. I'm gonna do a little montage of me skating in them and then review on it and stuff. So, you guys, see you at the rink. All right, guys, we're walking into the rink. Hey, guys, we got them on. Sadly, I had to cover up the pretty stuff with my, my socks, but when I do like a video of them, I might just take that off, but yep, they're on. It's so weird. And I can't even, it's like different. It's so different. It's so weird. But they like, it's like better. It's like more powerful. Like I feel like I have more power when I'm skating. up and back um so basically my feet hurt really bad like really bad it's like achy but i mean that's what you expect when you get new skates i've tried a sow cow a toe loop and a waltz jump and those are fine got those sow cow's a little slow though not very high because yeah it's just new skates you know so um we got scratch bin down we're working on broken leg trying to get that see if i can get even lower with these skates on so yep i'll keep you guys updated Alright guys, we're back from the rink, and I'm here with my babies. Don't mean to flex on you guys. Anyway, so, um, they are amazing. Like, the best investment in money ever. Okay, so, I'm gonna go over the whole money topic. Um, when you make the switch from any other skates to Adeas, if that's what you're doing, or if you're just getting new Adeas just because, 
the switch in price i don't know about other skates but i know these compared to jackson's is a big difference at least from the ones that i had before because i had the jackson's mystique and those were around a hundred dollars um the blade was free with those didn't cost anything for that blade so it was great for first skates because i i skated in those for a year because i've only been skating a year i've not been skating that long but i'm i've progressed a lot so like the people that have been skating their whole lives like i've skating like on their level like the people my age so like i've got all singles jumps i've got my spins i've got sit spins all that stuff so like i've progressed faster but since i've progressed so fast i didn't think about getting new skates so i've been learning all of these new things all these things like i've been like my jacksons those were not for jumping and spinning and but i was doing all that stuff they were broken in they were flimsy they were not not they were way below my level so these are exactly my level if not higher than my level a little bit because i don't have my axle yet but uh, as soon as my competition coming up is over then we're gonna get working on axles and hopefully i can take you guys along that journey with my axle progressions um anyway so um these are a lot different than those jacksons price wise because Jackson's, like I said, beginner skates. Those were my first skates. Um, they were probably around hundred dollars. These skates were about seven hundred because the blades were about three hundred, the boots were about four hundred. We had to pay for other stuff to go with them, so overall it was about seven hundred dollars. I had to pay for half of it, but the rest of it was for my birthday. My whole family, grandparents, everyone pitched in. It was awesome. Everyone's super supportive, which is really great because. I love skating so much, but it is extremely expensive. So I will say when you make the switch, it is totally worth it because my Jacksons in these, so different. I can art, like my landings were so smooth, so perfect. The blades um, are a lot thicker than my other ones. So I have a lot more power when I land. And when I'm pushing the power, I go I'm stronger. The push is better. It's just all around just so much better. Like the the way that the blade scratches the ice like when i dig into the ice it's just so much cleaner so much smoother it is amazing i highly highly recommend a as like over any other skate like i i know i can't really be one to say that because i haven't really used any other skates except for jackson's but like if you're debating between skates like if you're anywhere near my level if you're doing scratch bins laybacks sit spins if you're starting to learn your double jumps if you're in that kind of area like your free skate one two and three then i highly recommend these like highly recommend these like they are they're outstanding the performance is great they are lower cut here so you can bend i will say the one thing that i do not like is how loose they are at the top um when they're on my feet it's it's like this like my heel ends here that's different because my Jacksons were super, super tight, but I will say I love that in a sense because I can bend better. My sit spins are so much cleaner. Like before, my sit spins in the Jacksons were just hot mess. Yeah, they were <laughs> a hot mess, Um, but these sit spins are so much easier. Everything's just a lot easier in them. I will I will definitely put that out there. They are a heck of a ton easier. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to cover. Oh, my feet hurt so bad after wearing them like i had them on for 20 minutes and my feet i could not feel them like my, they like, I, they hurt so bad i had to sit down like i couldn't push through it like it was like bad um and then it, i i got a little better but my jacksons were so flimsy and these are so stiff because when you're jumping when you're spinning when you're doing that your ankles have to be tight so even though they've got a lot of room here this part of the boot is extremely tight but the arch of my foot hurt so bad it's like wearing like four you know like if you're wearing like four to six inch heels anywhere in those walking in them your feet just ache like on the inside out like they just ache almost feels like you're skating in high heels because there's a little bit more of a lift so you pretty much skating on comfortable comfortable heels um they're they will get better I was talking to one of my friends at the rink that has the same skates and she said that it took her about like two weeks to get used to the whole switch and everything.
my competitions in not two weeks, so um, hopefully we get used to it by then. But I don't want to ramble for too long, but I think this stuff is important to like you know know. Um, I'm trying to you know keep this as like on topic as I can, but it's hard to you know. I just anyway. Sorry, I talk a lot. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but yes, the switch totally 100% worth it. Your feet will hurt a lot at the beginning. The price is definitely not fun. Um, but like these will probably last me three years. So just I would I would say they're worth it. I'm you don't want to over boot too much. So like this is already a like slight over boot for me because technically like if I wanted to keep it at exactly my skill, I would be using the overture boot because I don't have my axle yet. But I'm gonna start doing double jumps and start my axles like extremely soon, like within the next month. So even though I don't have it yet, I will have it soon and like, you don't wanna overboot and you don't wanna underboot. So overbooting barely and just being in that little middle section is great. So don't go for the one that you know you're gonna, like don't go for the, the skill level boot that you're gonna grow out of soon. If you have to overboot a little bit, that's fine. But like, like don't, just don't overboot too much overbooting a little bit like I did with these is totally fine because within the next by the end of summer I'll have my axle and I'll probably have some doubles by the end of the summer so I'll then I'll be like perfect level for these so yeah also um the thing about a day is, is you can stretch them so if you're worried about one of the things that I was worried about was the fact that what if I outgrow them that's seven hundred dollars that we're gonna have to just sell them right away and buy new new skates like I'm, I'm growing, like, you know, my, my feet just grow. And the guy was like, yeah, I mean, by your age, by 14 years old, like, your feet are probably done growing. And if they grow at all, it's going to be, like, a centimeter. And the thing with the day is, is it's good to have that room. So if your feet, if you're worried about your feet growing, don't be. Because, I mean, obviously, if you're a little kid, or you're, like, 10, then that's something else. You're going to have to, <laughs> your feet are going to grow. You're going to have to get new skates. But... The nice thing about Adeas is that they can stretch. So if my foot overnight grew like a centimeter and these started to feel tight, he can stretch them. And he can stretch them up to like an inch or whatever. I don't know, something crazy like that. But they can stretch, they can mold to your foot. They, they're extremely comfortable up until they start to hurt your feet. <laughs> but when I first was skating in them, it was great. It was, it's weird, it's different, it is very different. But it's just, I'm not used to having so much power. So I think that was what was weird. Like my, my, when I landed my jumps, it was clean. It was great. I tried to get some videos for you guys for like a montage, but um, the Zamboni was coming out and I was the last person out on the ice and I still hadn't finished my videos yet. So the spins were rushed and I was like, come on, just spin, spin. And I was like rushing myself. So the spins were bad. Anyway, um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have any questions about the boots or about how to find a rep or any of that stuff just leave a comment i'll try to respond i mean i'm sure most people don't really have questions i think i've answered everything there is to answer but um also let me know like what other videos to make because like i'm a figure skater yeah but i don't want to just make figure skating videos like i have other stuff i like to do you know so um just let me know some stuff you guys might want to see and um yeah bye guys